Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to today's video. Um, I wanted to show you guys my Casco Creeper today. Uh, I believe the scientific name is Dolly Kendra Unguis Cati. Um, but the common name Casco Creeper is really descriptive. Um, being creeper, being a creeper, it is of course a actually a woody vine, aka a liana. As you can see, the older stems down here are quite woody. Um, and being a cat's claw creeper, meaning got its name from the terminal leaflet that helps it grab onto things that acts like a cat's claw. Um, maybe it can be better seen here. Um, each leaf is a compound leaf with three leaflets, but the terminal one is modified into a sort of like a tendril that that hooks onto things. Right now I'm having it um, climb onto my window screen. It doesn't really damage the screen, especially it doesn't really get that heavy or that big in a pot. Uh, I can pull it off really easily without leaving any marks or damages. But if you get a little bit closer, it's really adorable. Um, you see this claw-like leaflet and the uh, the end of it is actually quite sharp and it really grabs onto things really well. Um, sometimes I saw it online, people say it can climb any structure, even glass. I don't think it can quite climb glass. Um, I've definitely tried it, it did not climb glass for me. Um, but that is kind of also a testament of how robust this vine is because really, here in Northern California, I've seen it a lot in like um, on the walls in highways where you know they are the harshest environments are very hot they're very dry um, well they actually get some flow of rain actually um, but yeah it's a really harsh environment and class claw creeper does just fine and I think I believe people in the desert southwest also use it a lot and also can tolerate moderate frost maybe to zone 8 uh, but in zone 8, the above ground part will probably die. Um, it has a really nice um, tuber below ground that's usually pretty round. And depending on the age of the vine, it can be the size of a blueberry to the size of a golf ball. That's usually the size I've seen on mine. But I'm sure once you let it get older, it will probably get a lot larger than, say, a golf ball. Probably something like, I don't know, a tennis or even a... I've seen pictures of it, people holding it. Um, it's, it can be really sizable. So with such a huge storage organ on the ground, it's a very resilient vine to destruction. Um, if you cut it um, just back to the ground level, it will bounce back very, very rigor vigorously. And that's also one of the reasons it's regarded as pretty invasive in parts of the world. Um, for example, in like near Queensland, the southeast uh, Queensland, or you know that part of Australia, uh, because it likes the warmth, it likes the rain, and really it um, it can kind of sm smuggle it. Um, smother, not smuggle. Sorry, um, bring that after a long day. Um, it can smother a tree. And especially it is damaging, I believe, to riparian zones where the seed can fly and float and spread. Um, before, people believe it's spread by rhizome, but I think I saw a paper before, um, some time ago saying it's actually mainly spread by seeds. And um, let me see if I can find a seed, or at least show you the morphology for you. Okay, so... Here's a seed. Uh, it has wings on both sides. And it's of course very light and can be blown away by wind and they produce copious amounts of seeds. Um, it flowers usually in the spring and it has those tubular yellow, bright yellow flowers that sometimes you don't really notice cast call creeper, but once it starts to flower, you will see the entire vines covered by with yellow blossom. It's pretty magnificent. I really like it. I would definitely encourage you to give it a try if you are in an area where it's not going to be a pest problem. Um, 
yeah, it's a really nice buy. Um, and again, I'm over my five minute mark, so I'll shut up. Oh, uh, one last thing. Um, the flower, some people say it's fragrant, um, but to my nose, I don't really smell anything. Or if I did, it's very faint. It's definitely nothing strong like a jasmine, for example. Um, the flower doesn't last too long. The whole plant may be in bloom for a few weeks. Um, but the peak season, peak time, like the entire structure covered in yellow blossom is probably one or two weeks. Um, it's a really nice vine. Um, it grows well in containers, but they don't really flower until re they reach a pretty sizable size. These plants have been this five gallon pot since for about two years. They've never flowered for me. Um, yeah, so there you go. The cat's claw creeper, um, Dolicandra. Unguis Kati, I believe if I'm not butchering the pronunciation too much. And thanks for watching and um, have a great one.